In this video, I'm going to take you through Crypto.com's DeFi swap for swapping and farming DeFi coins plus offering triple yield for liquidity providers. Welcome to Everybit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful and if you do then please give it a like and share. Plus for the latest information on Crypto.com, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. DeFiSwap is a new DeFi protocol by Crypto.com, allowing users to swap and farm DeFi coins at the best available rates, whilst offering an attractive incentive program for CRO token holders. Crypto.com, who are famous for their one-stop crypto app, are the next crypto company to release a DeFi service for their users. Launched on the Ethereum mainnet, the service allows users to swap and farm DeFi tokens as well as providing liquidity and earn triple yield. So firstly, yield is available through swap-free sharing, where liquidity providers receive 0.3% from the trading fees that are collected from the system. There's also a CRO DeFi yield for liquidity providers who also stake CRO, where basically you can stake CRO to boost your yield by up to 20x. So the money that you make on DeFi swap is all based around the volume being traded on the platform, meaning that if no volume is being traded, then no money is being made. Plus, they're also introducing a bonus yield for liquidity providers of selected pools. And users will receive tokens redeemable for additional tokens of participating DeFi projects. And right now, Crypto.com are guaranteeing a minimum reward of 14 million CRO for the first 14 days which equates to 1 million CRO per day. With DeFi swap, users can swap between any two supported tokens, whilst paying a 0.3% swap fee. And at launch, you can swap between the likes of Wrapped ETH, Tether, DAI, Link, Comp, and Crypto.com's own token, CRO. Plus, they'll be introducing more tokens to the list in the future. Within their pools, each liquidity pool consists of reserves of two ERC-20 tokens, and users are issued with an ERC-20 pool token as a proof of proportional ownership of the underlying reserves. And the best part of DeFi Swap is Boost, where users can stake CRO and get great rewards. And I'll take you through an overview of all the functions today, as well as an example of how you can get the best rewards. Now, one thing to mention before we go ahead is that unfortunately there are some countries that are restricted, such as the United States, Singapore, etc. And you can take a look at that list on their site. So let's jump into the walkthrough now. And to get started, you'll want to head over to crypto.com slash DeFi slash swap. And I've got a full tutorial of crypto.com if you're interested in finding out more, as well as a link in the summary below that you can use. And you'll first need to connect up your Ethereum-based wallet by using MetaMask or any Wallet Connect enabled mobile wallet. Plus you'll be able to connect up their DeFi wallet, which is coming soon too. And just so that you're aware, if you wanna disconnect your wallet at any time, you'll wanna do this within your connected wallet. And the first thing you'll notice when you reach the site is that the user face is very similar to Uniswap. And that's basically because DeFi Swap is a fork of Uniswap version two. And under swap is where you can swap between two of the supported tokens. And there'll be a direct conversion here if there is a liquidity pool for the exact same pair and it offers the best price. Or DeFi swap will route trades across several liquidity pools. If for example, there's no liquidity pool for those two tokens, or if a direct conversion incurs a higher price. So you'll wanna select the tokens that you'd like to swap from. And as I said earlier, you have the likes of wrapped ETH, Comp, CRO, DAI, LINK, and Tether. Now, one thing to mention here is that native ETH needs to be wrapped into wrapped ETH before it can be used on the DeFi swap, but this can all be done automatically for you. And I'll take you through an example of a swap shortly, but this swap could be particularly helpful on its own if they move across to a CRO blockchain as the fees there will be minimal. So let's take a look at Pool, where you can start adding liquidity and earn swap fee sharing and you can check out their best rates by pair over on the analytics page. Now, one word of warning is that when adding liquidity, there is an element of risk. 
and they have a lot of information under their FAQ section that's worth checking out in relation to the risks. And again, for those of you that are familiar with Uniswap, you'll be very familiar with the interface. So if we click on to add liquidity, and then you'll need to select both of your input tokens from the supported token list. And you can then review the prices and the pool share information here, which you'll need to approve with your connected wallet, plus pay a gas fee. And once the approved transaction is confirmed, you can click on to supply. Then once your transaction is confirmed, you'll receive the liquidity tokens, which represents the share of the pool supplied and the underlying collateral that can be redeemed at any time. So when you're adding liquidity to the pool and you become a pool token holder, you're entitled to receive the swap fees paid by users who swap through their liquidity pools. And users will receive their proportionate share when they return the pool token to redeem their share of reserves. So you've got swap and pool, but where this really differs from the likes of Uniswap is with their boost function. As a liquidity provider, apart from the swap fee sharing, you can also do something called boost by staking your CRO and you can earn up to 20x yield boosting. And it's up to you how much CRO you want to stake, but the minimum is 1000 CRO and you can choose from a staking period of between one and four years. And the yield will be calculated daily and shown on their site. Just be aware here that any amounts over 100,000 CRO staked are unlocked 30 days after earning the yield, so you can harvest every 30 days. And below 100,000 CRO is every 90 days. And users can claim the accrued yield on the Boost tab by paying a gas fee. They also have an APY calculator here that you can use to forecast your boosted CRO DeFi yield. And you can play around with the mounts here. But as you can see, you'll need to be a liquidity provider as well as stake to get the boost. So you'll need to do both to get the maximum benefit. So what I'll do now is I'll go through an example of how to swap, how to boost, and how to pull your tokens. Now I'd like to stake, but as you can see here, I only have 692 CRO available. So I'll need to get some more to be able to boost. So if I head over to swap, I've got an ETH balance of three ETH. So I'm gonna swap that for CRO. And I'm gonna want enough CRO to be able to boost and pull. So if I get about 1,500 here, and it will show me the maximum that I'll receive due to slippage, the price impact, and the liquidity provider fee or the swap fee, which is at 0.3% and goes to the liquidity providers. And it also shows me the route of how it's gonna be converted into CRO. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap. And it will then provide me with an overview and then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm my swap. And you'll then need to pay a gas fee, which you can use in conjunction with ETH gas station. Now the fees are pretty high right now, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll go ahead with this transaction. And you can view that transaction over on Etherscan if you wish. Now occasionally your swap transaction might fail due to insufficient output amount error. And in this case, your tokens will be returned, but unfortunately most or all of the network fee or the gas will be spent. And this is most likely due to sudden increase in the swap volume of the corresponding token pair. The only way to really get around this is by adjusting either your gas fee to a higher amount, and I've got a full tutorial on how to do that with MetaMask, or you can adjust to a higher slippage tolerance under your settings and transaction settings. But as you can see, that transaction's now gone through for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and boost. So if I click on to stake and earn, and I'm gonna be staking 1000 CRO for a period of one year. And this is just an example for today. And I can then review my stake. And you'll need to approve CRO first of all before you can confirm your stake. And you'll also need to pay a gas fee for that, which is currently at $1.08. Where I can now confirm my stake. And again, you'll need to pay another gas fee to confirm this. And once that transaction is confirmed, you'll see your balance here and your total stake CRO. And daily, you'll then see your accrued CRO yield. 
and that'll obviously be based on your provided liquidity and CRO staking. So now that's all gone through, we'll look at adding some liquidity. As to get that boost, I'll need to be a liquidity provider. So if I head over to the pool, and as I showed you earlier, under analytics, the best liquidity pair currently is CRO and ETH. So let's go ahead and add CRO and ETH to the liquidity pool. And I'll be staking all of my CRO here. And the required amount of ETH will then show underneath, as well as the prices in the pool share. And I can then review my stake. And again, you'll need to approve before confirming your transaction. Now with the transaction cost nearly around $10 for a small transaction, and with a poor return of about 9%, this may not currently work out to be cost effective for you. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead, even though the gas fees are high. And now that my liquidity has been confirmed, I can then review that under my liquidity section here. And it will show me my pulled CRO, the pulled ETH, my pull tokens, and my pull share, which I can add further funds to, or I can remove that at any time. So that completes my run through of Crypto.com's DeFi swap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.